Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you just some reporting basics um, for when you go into the statistics section in Golf League Tracker and some of the features that appear on most of the pages. So here I'm on my main menu under stats. This may change as time goes on as stats are added to it. Uh, I'm just going to pick uh, one of the basic stats, scoring averages. And you can go, I'm logged into my 2020 season, but I can go and choose any one of my seasons in this particular report. Some reports you can go back previous seasons, some you cannot. Um, I'm going to go, it's winter of uh, 2020 right now, so I'm going to go back to my this previous season that we played, and you can pull up the report this way. Now, most of the reports you can sort by any one of the columns that has this little arrow icon on it. And if you look down the list, right now we're sorted by gross average from low to high. And the system will remember your last sort for the, each report um, per browser. So I'm logged into Google Chrome right now on my laptop, and it will remember the sorting for this report only on this machine, only for this report. So if I go into my my iPad or my phone, um, the sorting will be remembered on a device basis. Um, so how do you change it? You just click on the header um, and it toggles between low and high. If I want to toggle, if I want to sort by a different column, if I want to see uh, the most number of birdies or least number of birdies, I can click on the birdies column in this report and sort from high to low or low to high. So that's throughout almost all of the reports um, have this sorting capability. Uh, in this particular report, we've got extra columns over here. If I scroll down, we can scroll over. This report's just pretty wide. It doesn't fit on my current monitor. Um, and in this report, we have totals and averages at the bottom. So you can compare those values um, with your own. Also in this one, the name is a link. So anytime you see this bolded text and when you roll over it, you'll see a background color, you can click on that name or whatever it may be, and it will take you to another report that filters down uh, by that person. Uh, for exporting, we have this menu in the title bar, this little menu icon. This is called a hamburger menu, um, and it kind of looks like a triple decker or a double decker. If I click on that, we have three different options. We can export the data to Excel. It actually exports it to a comma delimited file, but generally you're going to open that with Excel or some other spreadsheet. Copying will copy this to the clipboard of your computer, which you can paste into another program. And then printing will take it and remove the headers and um, other menu items. We can do it right now, and it will pull up the... Um, print dialog for your browser and for whatever reason with my Canon printer it takes forever to print preview but you can go and see the print preview of this report and then of course change the layout as you would any other page or the scaling if it doesn't fit on your um, on your page that you're selected um, if we export we'll click on export you'll see down here it created a CSV file I can click on that It'll kick off Excel, and there we have all the data in one report uh, or on one screen that I can do whatever I want with it, obviously, now that I'm in Excel. Um, these are the filters that you have for each report. Um, each report will have their own filters. So if I go to Player Best Ball Season, this one's going to have different filters that are specific to this report. You'll see again it's got... Um, this particular report has a sort bar, so I can click on each header and sort by that particular column. Um, and most of the reports have the export, copy, and print menu option. So those are some of the basics in reporting. Feel free to shoot me any questions and play around with all the different reports in Golf League Tracker. About half of these are customer requests over the years, and if you have one that makes sense, for the majority of the leagues, um, let me know. Otherwise, you generally can export what you need and put it in Excel and do with it as you need. All right, thanks. Talk to you later.